Hello everybody and welcome to the final episode in the introductory section of this series before we start getting into the detail of, of how to use Google Sheets. And in this episode I'm going to talk briefly over the different categories of sheets you can use and some of the formats that are important to adhere to. Uh, so the sheet that I've been using so far, the user interface, is a good example of the first format. So I would call this a kind of database format or a data format. Uh, and there's a few key things that are in here. So this is has got on the top row, it's got my field names for my data. Uh, and then I've got one row per data entry. So in this instance, uh, it's uh, client information and one per row. Um, in kind of database terms, these would be called records and these would be called fields. Um, they don't have to be one per sheet, you can have more than one. Um, so a good example of this, if I go back to the Google Sheets tutorials and go to new Google Sheets from a template, um, so the, the monthly budget one that comes as a default template uh, has the transactions tab. This has two different kind of data sheet uh, sections within the same sheet. So here we've got our field names uh, and then again we've got one row per um, record. Uh, the reason this is important is because when we come to do formulas, uh, you, it's going to need to be in this format for most of the formulas to work. A lot of them won't work unless your data is in this format, so it's very important. And now we're in the monthly budget template. Uh, the summary tab is a perfect example of the next type of sheet, uh, and that's a dashboard sheet. So this can have charts, it will have formulas that add up various information and display them in a friendly format. Um, and it can have tables or pivot tables that show you uh, various key information. Um, so these don't actually follow a specific format and it's almost an art in itself designing these and creating them useful. And indeed people do create entire careers out of just being good at creating good dashboards. Uh, the final one um, is a bit of a catch-all um, and that's a tool. Uh, so if I go into the template again, um, there's a, quite a few in here. So calendar, I would consider a tool. Um, th this is essentially just a calendar. Um, it doesn't follow any consistent format on tools, unlike the, the data sheets. Um, and there's many different ones here at this one. We've got monthly in there. Um, if I go back in and go to more templates, we can find some other examples of tools. Um, so pros and cons list uh, would be a tool. Um, a purchase order I would consider to be a tool. Um, things like loan calculator and stuff like that. Um, anything where you're putting information in, in a non-standard format and it's providing you some kind of usage. So in this purchase order example, it we add in our items, our unit prices, our total price, and it gives us an invoice that we we can send off to a company. Um, so that's the various categories. I hope that's helpful. Um, the the most important one is the data sheet view and stick into having those field names uh, along the top, um, and one row per record. Um, so thanks for watching. I look forward to the next episode where we're going to start getting into the detail of how you can use the powerful features of Google Sheets.